Hey guys, this is Shank1082. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video um, about Cyanogen Mod. This is I'm gonna make it about Cyanogen Mod 9. Cyanogen Mod 9 is um, the newest iteration of Cyanogen Mod, which is the most popular ROM for Android. After you root your phone, you're able to install custom ROMs. And Cyanogen, and Mo Cyanogen Mod 7 has been the popu the most popular ROM um, out there because it's very stable and it has a lot of good features that everybody likes. And um, Cyanogen Mod 9 is the newest iteration of it, and not a lot of people have seen what it looked like or have been updated as to what it is, or exa yeah, exactly what it is. And um, so in this video, I just kind of wanted to, you know, show it off, I guess, <laughs> and just show you all the features of the new Cyanogen Mod 9. Um, this is Nexus S, um, GSM Nexus S, and I'm rooted, of course, and then I installed this. This is Cyanogen Mod 9 version 2 patch 1. This is uh, the most recent signage of month to date as of February 15th and so as you can see it's very similar to stock ice cream sandwich. Um, there's not a lot of difference um, other than the apps that they've added and a couple user interface tweaks that you can tweak yourself. Um, so let me get into those apps that they have. You can see here CM stats. Um, this is anonymous usage data that sent to signage of month to help them um, you know, make the ROM better and things like that. Um, I trust them, they use it wisely. And then here we ha they have dev tools, and I'm not a developer myself, but these are things I guess you can use to test out your different apps and things for Ice Cream Sandwich or Sanogen Mod for developers. Um, also, you have DSP Manager. DSP Manager, it basically, I'm actually not sure what DSP stands for, but. Um, it basically makes your music sound better and there's effects you can add to it like this is right here you see your options are headset speaker bluetooth wm 8994 which i'm not exactly sure what that is but for headset you have dynamic range compression bass boost equalizer um if you've you've sent a cyanogen mod before you you'll notice these things but um they're really nice to have um dynamic range compression i use it makes your music sound a little bit better, not a huge difference. And then here you have File Manager, and this is the File Manager that comes with Cyanogen Mod. Nothing really special here. Um, and then we have Cyanogen Mod Music, which is it's kind of a big deal for those um, who sync their music, you know, using their Android phone, kind of just like a thumb drive where they drag and drop their music to their Android phone. I personally sync my music with Google Music so I don't use it, but um, this is a brand new app that the developers have just created. Um, it's all themed out for Cyanogen Mod, I mean, for Ice Cream Sandwich, excuse me. And, I mean, it looks really nice. I mean, I don't, I don't have any use of it, but um, it looks really good in comparison to their old app. And then here you have Nexus S settings, and there's just a couple things here. Uh, stuff to be added, but right now they have Deep Idle, which basically intends to save battery life. And then they have color multipliers and color gamma tuning. You know, these things you can change the color of your phone and stuff like that. Well, they messed up the camera for a second there. <laughs> okay, and then I believe that's the last setting they added. Oh, well, there's also Torch. And Torch is just, it's just the LED flash. Wow, it's bright. Okay, and then, so, in addition to that, they also added a couple things to the setting. In addition to those apps, rather. Um, you can see here, there's a whole other sub-setting here for interface for launcher themes and system. Launcher is pretty cool. They've added a lot of little tweaks. Uh, my interface isn't, or my home screens aren't totally changed up. But here, let me give you an example. Uh, the cube, let's try that one. Let me let it load up the home screen. And yeah, they're just really cool animations. You see that, whoa, that's pretty cool. I might leave it like that. But yeah, um, so they're working on, they're obviously getting stuff done with Cyanogen Mod 9. They're still working on it, but um, I think they've made pretty good progress so far. So yeah, you can do that to your home screen, the drawers, you have transition effects and things like that. The dock, I don't think they have anything yet. Yeah, icons, neither. And then auto-rotate screen, I'll show you that in a minute when I go back. And then themes, this is just a placeholder. They don't have anything there yet, but that means they're working on it. And then system, you have the combined bar. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, notification drawer, you can see right there. You see some controls up there. Those generally aren't there. Um, in stock ice cream sandwich, but you can add those just like in the other signage and mods. And then your status bar, turn the clock off, 
um, change the battery status, change it to a percentage or something like that. Change the signal display. And then lock screen, I don't think they added anything. No, not yet. And wallpaper, there's that stuff. Font size. And I think that's all they added. Well, oh, that brings you back to some Nexus S settings. And then, I believe, yeah, okay, so there's a performance subsetting here. And this, um, you can do this with other apps, but I guess they iterated it into this. Um, you can see, you can set the CPU, CPU frequency and the CPU governor. Um, disable boot animation, surface dithering, 16-bit transparency, memory management, just stuff that, I mean, these are really good features, and I can't wait for Signage Mod to be finished, and it'll be really cool to see this on a lot of phones. And so that's my little update on Signage Mod 9. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I thought some of y'all may be curious as to what Signage Mod 9 was going to look like, so here's a little preview. Um... Please let me please let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in either a private message or you can comment because um, I've got a couple ideas up my sleeve, but I'd really like to hear from you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.